in Health Watch, children between 5 and 11 years old are now eligible to get the new COVID boosters. The shots target both the original uh, coronavirus as well as its Omicron variants. The FDA authorized boosters yesterday from both Pfizer and Moderna and approval from the CDC. It is expected to quickly follow. So let's bring in CBS News Medical Director Dr. David Agus now to talk more about this and to answer uh, a lot of your medical questions. Dr. Agus, welcome. Good morning. Great to have you with us. I know a lot of parents are confused because I've been having discussions with other parents about this recently, about this new booster that is supposed to target the Omicron variant. Is it recommended for children as strongly as the previous COVID uh, you know, vaccine was recommended? No question about it. You know, what it does is it provides broad immunity to this new Omicron variant, as well as the original Wuhan variant. And so what we know is after your original shots, immunity goes down literally every month. And so we need a booster, having this booster with a broader immunity to really helpfully give that broad immunity for the uh, fall and the upcoming winter when there will be new variants is critical in kids. The problem is only one third of kids are eligible for it because you need to have the first two shots before you can get that booster. So everyone needs to get them. In addition, you need to get that flu shot. What we're seeing is pediatric ICUs in the country are starting to fill up from flu, from RSV, from other viruses. And so kids are getting sick. There's not a lot of immunity to these things out there in the community. We need these vaccines. And Dr. Agus, speaking of vaccines, I want to turn now because we have some questions uh, that have been submitted online. People want to ask you, and someone says that their girlfriend may be pregnant. Should she hold off on getting a flu shot and COVID booster? What would you say? I'd say it's the opposite, mm. is that, you know, if you're pregnant, what you don't want is your child exposed to these viruses, and we don't want you to be sick. So you need to get both that booster shot and a flu shot if you're pregnant. It kind of doubles down during pregnancy. What we know is if you get with these viruses during pregnancy, it can affect the development of the child. So very, very important to get them. And I would separate them by at least four or five days. All right, good to know. And uh, Dr. Agus, this next question is coming from someone whose husband has COVID and is isolating in their home. This person wants to know when it's okay for them to sleep in the same bed again. And I kind of think it goes to that larger question that a lot of people have, which is, how long are we supposed to quarantine these days? Is it five days? Is it 10 days? What's the, uh, you know, what's the standard? Well, I can't answer the marriage counseling part of the relationship, <laughs> but what I can say is you want two days beyond full resolution of symptoms or a negative test is the simplest way to look at it. And so if you feel really ill, you probably shouldn't be with your spouse, but if you feel fine and it's been so for two days, you can go out and sleep in the same bed with your spouse as long as she or she approves it. Uh, right. That, that's it's, up, an, it's up to them. A very important <laughs> point right there, Dr. Agus. All right. Next question here. It deals with booster reactions. So someone says that they experience joint pain and thinning hair after getting their third shot. And they want to know if they should expect the same result from the latest booster here. Is that something that has popped up as a side effect, Dr. Agus? Not much. Um, you know, I say not much. I mean, any stressor can cause you temporarily to thin hair and can cause you, you know, the vaccine can cause fever and chills and joint pain for 24 hours. Um, relieve with Tylenol in most cases. So the booster vaccines, I mean, the booster shots, what we know are minimal side effects to date in general, about 3.9 million people in the database with the new boosters all tolerating extremely well. So I don't think side effects are a reason to avoid the booster. All right, good to know. Now, this next person, Dr. Agus, clearly pays a lot of attention to everything you say going way back because this person remembers <laughs> you talking about colonoscopies in 2016 when apparently you said the procedure would soon be obsolete because abnormalities would be detected in blood work. And so this person is curious. Uh, where does that stand? Has that timeline changed? Well, colonoscopy is important, right? A study came out earlier this week that got a lot of media coverage that I think was incorrect. What it said is colonoscopies didn't save lives, and it was wrong because what they did was they said, you're eligible for a colonoscopy, and only 42% of the people who were eligible got it. So the study was kind of statistically flawed. Colonoscopies work. They save lives. If you are 45 in this country, you need to get one. What we had talked about in 2016 was there was a blood test that looked remarkably good at, de at detecting polyps if you know you have a polyp and you remove it, you won't get colon cancer. 
Because of COVID and everything in between, all of scientific progress has been delayed. My gut is over the next several years, we're gonna see more and more things in this regard that will hopefully give us some warnings of who needs a colonoscopy, right? Because we do colonoscopy in everybody, not just people with polyps. And if we find a polyp, we take it out. First, having a blood test showing you have a polyp, then getting colonoscopy is a lot more efficient, and that will come in the future. All right. Well, Dr. Agus, thank you so much. It's uh, fascinating to get all of this medical insight from you. And of course, we have to tell our viewers if they have any more medical questions, they can send them to Dr. Agus. You can tweet him at David Dash Agus, right? Or you can text him at 310 299 9322. And we are planning on having Dr. Agus on the stream every Thursday morning. He might just answer your question.